hello everyone let us talk in this tutorial we will talk about how to become an embedded engineer embedded technology is the evolution of the technology in the 21st century and the evolution of embedded system in 21st century are becoming very very complex it is becoming more complex day by day to make use of embedded systems the required skill set of an embedded engineer is also getting very very diverse embedded system is no more bounded under computer driven microcontroller programming it is getting more about application domain to solve different different challenges in different different circumstances today an embedded device like mobile phone can do more jobs than just calling it can play fm radio capture photo and video and so on the definition of embedded systems has been expanded to a different diversion and different horizon now it is very very perfect time to understand how the market demand and the culture is driving the skill set requirements of an embedded engineer the important thing to remember that whatever be the addition features the embedded system will always be resource constrained the challenge will be always to design system with limited power limited memory limited input output and low cost the same embedded system engineers always need to promise or optimize what they are doing unlike dest desktop engineers who can use more memory or more proper processing or more io speed if you look so look around there are many examples of pure embedded systems or large systems built using multiple embedded subsystems in the part one of the article you came to know that what are the basic points you need to take care about becoming an embedded engineer let's understand more behavioral aspects of embedded engineers which are very important to become an embedded engineer in the 21st century one of the old proverb says that practice makes the perfect but you don't become an expert without practice you would not even become good unless you practice however you need to practice solving multitude of domain problems similarly you cannot become a good embedded engineer or embedded systems engineer without doing it whatever you could learn by reading about it your lack of practical experience would, would be would be clear in an interview of a few minutes i often need to interview people of technical jobs when i ask candidates about specific kinds of problems and experience the gap between those who have done what i am asking about versus those who have done met, merely studied it it is very very apparent let's understand more what are the key points you have to do to get gather experience more as an embedded engineer one thing you can do you can join local hackathon you can start join the maker space the fab lab what is the which is the one of the mit initiative different different meta meta groups for embedded systems you will have to access the knowledge connections and the people who can help you drive your ambition like just like open source projects the main source of the knowledge of the software engineers in that also open source hardware farmer drive are becoming very very prominent source of inspiration for embedded engineers who are becoming someone said once it is better to fail with others than to fail alone my take on this is why not to go try with others where you are most likely to succeed to get going to you need materials to start and motivations to get going modern embedded systems had broadened over the networking and multimedia group extensively in the last couple of years you can look into any devices that are getting connected over the internet and they can handle multimedia data like video audio processing more extensively than the before it is also said that if a can, if a kid can take a thing part apart then put it back together such as that it still works he will become an engineer that was the old understanding embedded engineering also like more about self learning through experimentation 
to start self learning process you need to buy different de development boards and play with it program it get one led to blink then program it to blink fast and slow get a piece of display unit interface with with the board try putting some smileys on it playing with basic electronics will teach you lot about systems and engineering doing actual stuff is really really very very important nowadays the open source hardware also concept also came very very popular in the do it yourself community there are different boards has been developed complete open source like arduino beagle bone and many other boards which can help you to create your project all together open source projects helps us to see how a small section of hardware works it also helps to understand what happens if you change your embedded software code little bit how does the hardware actually function and what happened if you change the some hardware component in the behavior of the embedded system playing with this you will learn and understand the functionality of a lot of things in any project an embedded project choosing the right set of projects or components are very very important the project you choose should be influenced by the application domain which you want to become an expert so till now are you feeling sound odd the basic career plan of an embedded software engineer is it is very common to see to change their jobs and companies in the every 2 years the main reasons basically greener pasture in the on the other side this becomes sometimes problematic to develop competence in the embedded systems because it takes times of several years to develop mindset to write bullet bulletproof codes safety critical embedded system one of my friend at silicon valley had once shared one interesting experience when his company was trying to outsource some part of development at india some other asian countries they trained four engineers but they left as soon as they complete their training so the us engineer is doing the same job as he cannot find someone here to stay in the job it is like a mobile society though it may be difficult but you to really know the embedded systems to really know the safety critical system like aeroplane or pacemakers you need to be in the job for several years to gain the expertise this is a word belief in india that many other countries if you don't get promoted within 2 years within 3 years to manager or senior member in your organization in the, in the five years of the, of your career you are not a good performer but this mindset could not be corrected way to gain effectiveness new technologies are shortening the life cycle of the embedded products in the to the market to stay in the competition the life cycle of an of an consumer embedded systems had gone down to below 2 3 years let's take an example that of apple's iphone you will not see anyone buying a, a iphone of first generation on the second even one second one even while the fourth and fifth and sixth generation are already in the market the designer of designer of or the embedded system to experience his work at least three generation of the product line for the fields like defense aeronautical engineering the number of years are longer because the life cycle of the products are longer than the consumer electronics system it is really product and consumer driven the embedded world is outside the desktop world you cannot just press the button and get the system ready to get the ready of an embedded system to to steps that to be followed completely different as an embedded engineer you need to be an all rounder you have to know much more than the writing just writing the code you have to understand the hardware how it interacts with the environment how to con use controls how to interact with different sensors and actuators and how to integrate all together to make the system ready today's education system will teach you either hardware in electrical engineering or software in computer science even the computer engineering courses do not cover embedded system completely you as an embedded engineer need to have broader set of educational qualification and mindset cross functional curriculum for the embedded discipline tailored for the embedded career will be but most of the this need to be done self driven as the current academic disciplines are not designed to do so to become an embedded engineer the most important is i will tell every time is the hands on training you need to take up as many as projects to as possible to gain expertise in your interested area multiple projects will, will give you varied experience 
will give you to understand and increase the analytical skill. However, choosing the right projects are very very important. The project you choose should be influenced by the application domain where you want to be expert. When I analyze a resume, if I see list of projects like project in audio, project in power electronic etc, I get an imp impression that the person has very little knowledge of the particular domain. It is like jack of all but master of none. The projects need to be similar in nature or using similar components. If you become expert in that, you certainly have the capability to pick up another domain effectively. It is becoming important for the hiring managers to look the diversity as the application domain is also becoming diversified. When they try to place someone in the networking job, they look for projects varied on it. Instead of hiring someone expert on the Cisco or SUN, they likely to hire someone who has exposed most of the networking devices on protocols. This hiring practices has been followed all over the industry these days in the embedded system. Embedded devices are getting deployed in more and more in safety critical system. I have a colleague who is an embedded engineer looked at the code written for an aeroplace and his immediate reaction was that he could never he would never fly in that aeroplane. This was because the quality of the code is very very poor. Embedded systems in critical healthcare systems is also becoming very very common. You can easily imagine that how it can disaster would, could happen if the software inside the pacemaker fails for a bad null pointer exception or stack overflow exception. Or the device took some few extra milliseconds to response because it was busy to create a buffer. But death can happen. So you must understand how quality processes very very important for an embedded system development life cycle. Earlier, there were few thousands lines of code, nowadays it becomes millions lines of code. As embedded systems become more and more complex, the code sizes also increases, which is the biggest challenge in nowadays embedded world. But whenever you take controlling a safety critical application, the quality of the code is very very important. Now is the greatest time to tap the opportunity for developing the mindset and skill set for the embedded. You will have to become all-rounder considering the multifaceted structure of the embedded world. But apart from being jack of all, you need to become master of some, at least expert of some domain. It is very 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 important. So let's hope for the, I wish you all the best. Let's start working on that domain. And in, in the future videos, we'll talk about that what you have to do and what are the skills that will be required to gain knowledge and understanding to, to make this expertise in the embedded domain. Thank you for now. Thank you for watching my video. We'll see you again. Thank you very much.